Hey guys, it's Stacy with Misguided Road Trips, and today we are at the Christ Episcopal Church in St. Simons Island. It was built in 1884, but the original church was here as early as 1758. That was actually built over at Fort Frederica, and I do have a video about that. Um, the first pastor preacher there went by St. James, and he was one of the first eight parishioners in the state of Georgia. And once Fort Frederica closed down, they moved the church out to this site. The first church that was moved out here ended up being burnt down during the um, Civil War. But then they erected this one, and it is a beautiful church. I want y'all to see this. Look at Cliff being lazy. He's waiting on me. This is actually the church here. Now, don't think we can get into it anymore. They used to leave it open, but I don't think they do that anymore. But I do know that President Jimmy Carter used to go to church here. I used to think that was amazing when I was a kid and he was president that he was so close to where I live because I only live maybe 30 minutes away from here. But one of the reasons I brought y'all out here is because of the cemetery. Y'all know how I am about cemeteries. Queen. Cemetery queen, that's right. Queen of the cemeteries. And I'm trying to think where to start. Right. Let me see this one over here with the gate around it. Right. These are pretty old graves. I really don't. These are pretty old graves. I really don't remember just how old a lot of them are. I would venture to say there's probably a lot here from the 1800s. Oh, that's a baby. That one died on my birthday, September 15th, but in 1900. 1924, 28, 36. <clears throat> Another one that passed away on my birthday. This one? Yeah. Oh, no, they were born on my birthday. I'm sorry. They had my birthday. Right. I wanted to see this one. Dudley. Captain, 2nd Regiment, North Carolina. Really? North Carolina Artillery. So why... Hmm. I guess he uh, came monument. to Georgia after the war. Yeah, I don't know. He found a Georgia girl like I did. Yep, and he stayed. Yeah, I know a good it. woman when you see one. 1911. That one's old. I can't. I can't read it. World War II, World War One, a lot of military. Wow. Trying to remember, trying to remember that, I mean, this cemetery is really big, but I'm trying to remember where the older, the graves. older graves are. Right there in that little gated area, maybe. Yeah. We can walk right through here. There's and, two churches right here close to Yeah, together. this is a different church over here. That's the Methodist? And I think so. And then there's this one. So the graves do end up running together. The cemeteries that's owned by these two churches. That's different. There's seven. I guess there's going to be... I don't know how they're going to do that. I thought 
talking about the name, trying to pronounce it at first. No. It seven, seven did some. Oh. <laughs> No, I was trying to figure out how they were going to bury so many people in that one plot. These aren't real old. I mean, there's a 1920. 1916. 1961. Oh. You're looking at it upside down. I was upside down. <laughs> <laughs> it was 1881. <laughs> That's funny. Well, yeah, it'd have been 1881 either way I looked at it, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've always thought this cemetery was really a neat place. It is, and again, after dark, I think walking through here would be nice. Yeah, we wanted to come in here after dark, but unfortunately it closes and there's gates to it. They close at nightfall. Well, and scope it out we have learned that you can be at a place during the day and if it's haunted it's just as haunted during the day as it is at night so these these look older over here i can't they've got this hedge built up around it's hard to see Yeah, these are older, 1887, 1879, 1882. This could have been just the original start to this cemetery. But this is the back of the church. This church is so cute inside, cute inside. Where are you at? Uh -huh. Guys, check out this grave. I want y'all to look at how eerie it looks, but I'm going to show y'all. Cliff found it and called me over here. And I want to show y'all the tombstone. This is Clark. Mother who died May 2nd, 1898. Daughter, died June 16th, 1898. Son, who died June 18th, 1898. They died the same year, all three of them, and the son and the daughter only two days apart. I'm not sure in 1898 what could have happened to, unless they kind of, like the mother got something first and the children got it too, but Cliff's right. I think this is a really good area to do EVPs, so I'm going to cut you off for a minute, sit the camera down and get all my equipment ready and then I'll come back and we'll do that. Okay, if there's anyone out here who wishes to speak to me, you can talk to me through this little black box and I will be able to understand you. Is there anyone here with us? My name is Stacy. I wanted to see if there were any spirits out here. I was trying to reach Sarah, Susan, or Eddie. Something like Eddie. If that's you, I've noticed your grave here. And I can't help but be curious about what happened to you, your sister, and your mom.
your dates of death were very close. Can you tell me what happened? Mohawk? Did you say Mohawk? How many of you are with me? I can hear you, but you're not coming through very loud. Can you repeat yourself? Were you ill? I thought I heard Mohawk. Can you tell me your name? Wow. <laughs> Will you talk with us? Okay, I'm going to cut this off for a minute. But if you want to talk to us, you can walk with us through the cemetery and we may turn it on later. You cannot follow me home. Got a few things, but it just wasn't coming through as well as I would have liked for it to. Um, maybe we can walk around and just carry that for me. I'm going to hold on to it. Maybe we can walk around and look at some other things and see I thought maybe at first I had got a hold of the sun but I don't know until I get back home and look at that but these are some old graves there's one 1884 over there and if you look at this one you can tell it's really old too And we'll go back over here. I wanted to go back behind the church because it seems like last time I was here, I was not doing any YouTube things. I had not done any videos, had not even crossed my mind about doing anything like that. But there's something that I remember got my curiosity up back here. I just don't know what it is. So I want to go look and see if it might spur my memory of what it was that I was intrigued by. Hmm. I'm not sure where Cliff went. He was, oh, there he comes. He's lagging behind. Eighteen forty six died in Savannah. Another child, six years, three months, and nineteen days, but I don't see the date of death. This is probably exactly why I remembered this is because these are older graves 
That one's 1871 to 1960. Isn't this beautiful, y'all, with all the trees and they keep the hedges up and everything. It really is a pretty cemetery. Harriet and French daughter of Horace and Alberta Gold, 1892. And that's the parents. Those are pretty old too. Now y'all keep y'all's eye out because I have heard stories about this place being haunted. Never nothing bad. Everything was always good. It just said that sometimes people had seen, you know, apparitions. Nothing, nothing scary. This is another one that I would never hesitate to come to during the day. Because I've never heard anything bad about it. Those don't have any type of writing left on them anymore. Eighteen thirty. Wow. William Brown passed away and buried in eighteen thirty. Look at this one. That's another one with the last name of Gold or Gould. 1925 and 1934. Look. Baby Hazel died December 23rd, 1910. Oh my gosh. This is another Hazel that died in 1913. That breaks my heart. I've never seen a little tiny tombstone like that for a child. I'm trying to walk around and find some interesting graves to look at, and this one looks very interesting to me. Not sure. Let's see. See anything? Hazard. Hazard, 1813. Oh, that's the oldest one. That well, reminds me of that one that was over there at Fort Frederica, but the Fort Correct. Frederica had a top. That's pretty much the only difference. Wow. For your uh, Scottish viewers, there's one over there, a Mr. Fraser mm -hmm. from Dumfrieshire, Scotland that died in 1828. Christina, let me know if that's where you're from. I'm thinking that, I know you're from over there, and I'm thinking maybe that's somewhere close to you. We'll go check it out just for you. But let me go see this one, and then we'll walk back over there. Somebody, I think... <clears throat> 1859. Yeah. Somebody I think that is a subscriber on the channel is actually from there. Maybe I'm getting the name mixed up. But, Dunn Fries. Yeah, everybody who's from Scotland, let me know if you're from Dunn You're Fries, probably Dunn thinking Fries. of Dumbarton where I was going a lot. Yeah, that could be. But is it like F R E E? Dumfries, Dumfries, Dumfries. You'll see it. 
Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's see. They've extended the cemetery out a lot, too. I've noticed there well, seems houses. to be... Um, well, I mean, they keep burying people. It's oh, a oh. lot bigger than it used to be yes. as far as the amount of graves. Uh, I think you're right. There's an old one. That is old. It's... Oh, this one's 1803. 1803? Yeah, and this is the wife of Hugh. Well, here you got rocks on each side that they used for stones. And that one's sandstone, so it may have had... In it's got a cross and an A on the back yeah. of that one. And mm -hmm. this one that was their marker. has a cross... This one says gray. Yeah, the sandstone that it wears down is, over time. Yeah, wow. 1803. That's the oldest one. It's the oldest one I've seen here too. Okay, well, where are we going? We'll just go around and back down over there. Okay, I didn't know where it was. Well, there was something over that way. No, I'm just looking. I was just looking at some of the older some or some of the older hey, graves and reach up there and stick your camera in that hole. I can't reach up there. Y'all wanna go in the hole? No. That gum squirrel coming running out my arm. <laughs> I can't see in there. <laughs> oh it's probably just it's a squirrel nest. Mm -hmm. But if he comes out and comes up my arm. <laughs> we got problems. <laughs> yeah, you dropped my new camera. I'm sitting here scaring you. You dropped my new camera. That is not going to be good. Mm -hmm, don't worry. It'd be funny to scare him, but I'd be crying if my camera got messed up. A lot of people buried out here together in graves. I've noticed, like, in one grave, there being more than one name on the stone. Oh, well, I'm having you buried with me. Oh, Lord. Like the Egyptians did? Hmm. I don't know how the Egyptians did that. Oh. Well, if he died, they'd just go ahead and kill his wife and bury her with him. <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> don't think so. That's a lieutenant. Yep, from eight, during the Civil Wars, 1861 to 1865. He went through the whole war. Yes, he did. So did this one. Captain. Wow. All of these... Oh, this is the wife to him. Wow. Huh. Iron crosses. Mr. Fraser. To the memory of Mr. James Fraser of Dumfries Shire, Scotland, who died in Darien, which is a town here in Georgia. Just up the river. Yep, December 18th, 1828. 68 years old. 68, 69, so depends which one of us can read. <laughs> this is John of the British Marine Artillery. Wow. A lot of these are military. 1839, so he, they could have very well been over at Fort Frederica and lived in the town. No, no, they're too young. They're too, yeah, you're right. My math was off. Your math is off because that was 1700s and now it's 18. Yep. There's more Frasers. Yeah. Huh. There's some gallons over there. <laughs> this isn't funny. But. I have to laugh. I would hope you would not have to watch your step there. I'm even <laughs> what are they saying about?
about this one. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even read it anymore. It's no, it's so old. You can't read it. Uh, here's an 1828. 1826. 6. 1820. 1828. Yep. Now, I don't understand what this is. Was this enclosed at one time? No, they've got some of them like this in. Um, they're actually in the ground on these kind, and instead of putting the um, slab on the ground they raise it up and I don't know why they do that but okay. th there are numerous I just like that one over there is the same way it's just lower, lower. all right yep that's so the critters can get in there and uh, yep. get out of the weather I guess in fact <laughs> I have a funny story to tell y'all about St. Augustine there was a grave like that that um it was concreted in and they had the slab on the top. The back corner of the grave was broke. Well, one night a man and woman were walking through that cemetery and they had heard that it was haunted. So they started hearing voices and the woman got really freaked out. So freaked out, she called the cops and she told them, there is legitly a ghost out here. We hear it talking to us. It's yelling to get out, stay away, don't come any closer, all these things. The cop gets there, and he goes over, he starts laughing. He goes over with his flashlight and taps on the top of that grave. And he was like, Tim, how many times have I got to tell you not to scare these tourists? There was some guy who was homeless that would hide out in there and scare all the tourists so it was really kind of funny because it happened to them not to me because if i was in there and that happened one i'd probably be scared but two i'd probably be really mad because i would think i'd caught something paranormal and there was nothing there but it was really kind of humorous on that one all right guys well Hope you like that cemetery. It's kind of old, but it's a beautiful one. It's one of my favorites. I wish I could take you into the church. They have all the stained glass yeah. windows. What time is it? Um, it's after five. Yeah, we. It's like six now. No wonder I couldn't open the door. Yeah, they closed at five. But um, anyway, I hope you liked it. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. I like. I don't think we caught anything. I don't even think we got really too many EVPs, but I'll go back and look, see what I can find. And, we didn't um, think we caught anything at the one that's cemetery. That's true. So you never know. I learned my lesson on that one because I almost threw that footage away with the cemetery creeper. Y'all can ask Cliff. We were walking out. I was like, that was just a waste of time. I don't even know why we did that. And then he's like, well, just look over your footage. You know, you can find it with another video if you need to. And I looked over that footage and I freaked when I saw the cemetery creeper. So I have learned no more deleting footage just because I think it's bored. Check it out first. Not that I did a whole lot of that anyway, but, you know, there have yeah. been times. We're excited. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lord. All right. Well, thanks again, everybody. I hope everybody has a great day today. And I will see you on the next road trip. All right. Love you all. Bye. Okay, guys. We're going to take a walk. There's a walkway over across from the little church that we were at. This one. You should have just seen the video on it because I believe I'm going to just attach this to that. But this is a walkway across from the church called the Wesley Garden. And it actually leads to a monument that is commemorated for John and Charles Wesley, who were very, very important religious figures in this area of the state. They worked with Oglethorpe, and um, they are the ones who created the churches here. So, and 
this walk is beautiful so I thought you might like to see a little bit about Georgia and what it looks like yeah, this is Georgia woods yep it is Georgia woods and we do have to worry about snakes so nah. shouldn't be any I think this is a traveled enough path that they probably know to stay away but I would hope anyway Big old pine tree back there. There is. Oh, we got a creek. We got something. We got a ditch. We got a dry creek. <laughs> <laughs> yep, a ditch. Ooh, tree oh, flipped that. over. Hmm. Big tree flipped over. That tree looks like it's uh it looks old. Yeah, I've seen some time. Some hard times. Yeah, it has. All the knots and stuff on it. All the old vines. We could play Tarzan. Here, do that. Run and jump on that vine and do the Tarzan you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know why he won't. <laughs> that man ain't running a long weird. time. Now that's two different trees. That is two different trees. One grew up that inside like the a, other one. It might have been a cedar or something. Yep. That's crazy. Looks like its arms are wrapped around it. <laughs> Squeezing the life out of it. <laughs> it's a pretty memorial dedicated to yeah. them. This was John Wesley's favorite spot. So Oglethorpe had this put well, not this exact one. They redid it in 1988, I believe. But um, they had the spot marked off for him. Yeah, one of his churches is right through there. Yeah, back... I don't remember if it's Baptist or... I'm not sure which Methodist one. Methodist or what. It says the Reverend Charles Wesley... Christ. M.A. Christ Church College, Oxford Priest of the Church of England, First Minister at Frederica, Oglethorpe Secretary for Indian Affairs, 1736, leader in the Evangelical Revival as a Christian hymn writer. He is unrivaled. Wow. It's beautiful. The Reverend John Wesley M.A. Fellow Lincoln College, Oxford Priest of the Church of England, appointed missionary to the colony of Georgia, February 1736 to December 1737, ministered on occasion at Frederick, a founder of Methodism leader in the Evangelical Revival. And then here it's got to the glory of God and in the memory of the Reverend John Wesley, 1703 to 1791, and the Reverend Charles Wesley, 1707 to 1788. Pretty cool. It is cool. I think this is... That goes out to the road. Oh, yeah, that does. I think that's pretty much kind of it with that. Yeah, we just come in the back way. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, I hope you guys like that. Hope you enjoyed seeing the church, the cemetery, and the little walk. I appreciate you being here. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it and you haven't yet, <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> and don't forget to do all that YouTube stuff, guys. I'm trying to watch where I'm walking so I don't trip. All right. Thanks for everybody. Y'all have a great day, and I will see you on the next road trip. Bye. <laughs>